Yo, welcome back guys, and in this video, I'm going to be pushing some ladder using Royal Giant Triple Spell, alright? So I've been like, messing around with RG variations and stuff like that, and dude, like, this Royal Giant Triple Spell deck is absolutely insane. You know, with the Fireball, plus the Void, and um, just like, look at that bro, like, oh my gosh, just takes care of the Queen? <laughs> like, dude, that is so nice. But like, with that being said, Fireball, Void, and Evo Zap. These are the spells that I have in my deck. I replaced, like I took out the Electro Spirit and just had the Evo Zap in there. Because like, I feel like obviously they kind of have the same function. Um, And by the way, I am spamming this guy like crazy because he has a really awkward cycle. So that's why I'm doing this kind of play. Um, Okay, looks like he still may defend it. So, um... I'm still getting a lot of damage regardless though from that little prince, so that was overall like pretty nice in general. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying though, is that like the E-Spirits and Zap have like the similarities where they basically just kind of like, you know, take out any kind of like Night Witch bats or regular bats, you know, stun minions and stuff like that. That's why I just, you know, took out the E-Spirit. The only thing like you obviously can't really do with the Zap is that like the E-Spirit can kite just a little bit and just like distract. But overall, like the Zap and the E-Spirit still have like the same function. And obviously I think Evo Zap in general is better than an E-Spirit. So yeah, like dude, this triple spell deck really, it really packs a punch, dude. And I also have a Fireball in here because if you don't have Fireball, you basically like auto lose to Barb decks. So like the Fireball is there to take care of Barbarians and stuff like that. Um, also against... Just other things in general, like skeleton dragons and whatnot, and just other things that are just very annoying, um, that like Void really can't like take out consistently. That's why the Fireball would be there. So it overall just covers so much ground. So that's why I love the Triple Spell RG deck right now. You know, I might change it in the future, but as of right now, like it's been treating me so well that like there's really no point to you know adjust the deck at the moment. Maybe like after the balance changes potentially. Um, uh, by the way, like those balance changes should be dropping like sometime next week. Um, I don't know why it's kind of been taking a while for that to happen, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I'm gonna go for a fireball right here. He goes for an evil mortar. I'll just go for my fisherman plus my evolved zap. Perfect. I'll go for my little prince as well, just to make sure that mortar doesn't do anything funny. So yeah. I think right here, I can just... Okay, I'm gonna pop this ability. Oh, that's kind of annoying. My little prince goes down. I should be fine regardless, right? Alright, he goes for a very interesting poison, so... Um... Let's see. I can just go for an RG, I'm pretty sure. I'll just go for a fisherman as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually pretty nice. I'll go for a void right there. And, um... Overall, not a bad void, but could have been better for sure. Alright, he's going to protect his queen. Good play. Okay, I'm definitely going to fireball this right now just to get everything out the way. So, that's a very nice fireball. And, uh, yeah. I'll just go for another royal giant, because why not? I'm going to go for a fisherman as well. I got my void prepared, just in case. I'll play that right now on top of the mortar. So, um, just completely nuke it. And, um, yeah, so... I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost, I'm gonna go for a Fireball, and that should be game. GG's, let's go for the next match. Here is the next match, and um, I got a pretty good hand, I got Void and Fireball. I'll go for a Royal Ghost in the back here, see what he wants to do. He goes for a Sparky, okay. Um, I'm gonna go for an RG, and I want to play a Void right on top of the Sparky, just to completely demolish it. Okay, pretty unfortunate. I was hoping my ghost would survive, but it's totally fine. I can go for my zap right here. I think it's a pretty good zap. Perfect, dude. What a good zap and just overall... Oh my gosh, this guy is spamming me like crazy for no reason at all. But, you know, helps me out in the long run for sure. So far, this matchup does not seem bad at all, to be honest. Because, um, you know, I got the fireball for the flying machine. Void for the sparky. And if he ever wants to, like, protect his Sparky with, like, a Goblin Gang to minimize the Void damage, I do have a Zap spell on hand just to make sure I clean everything up. 
So, I should be chilling. Like, I should actually be chilling in this matchup. And, yeah. So, let's see here. He's not making a play, which is kind of annoying. So, I'll just cycle a Little Prince for the sake of the video. Um, and, yeah. He goes for a Sparky in the bag. I think I could just void that, right? Play this right now. Okay. Alright, he's going to protect it. I'm going to go for the Little Prince ability, and I'm going to go for a Zap as well. Really good. That's really, really good. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, what the heck? This guy's deck is so strange. I think I could just get like a Fisherman King activation, no? I'm gonna go for a Ghost for the Goblin Gang. Just like a really bad Goblin Gang in general. Like, I don't really know what he was getting with that. But I do miss the Fisherman, which is kind of annoying, so I don't get the King activation. Honestly, like, it doesn't even really matter that much. Alright, I'm gonna go for an RG. If he does go for a Sparky, I got the Void on hand, so... I'm chilling. I'm gonna go for a void on top of that though, for sure. Okay, he protects it. That's totally fine. I'm getting a ton of damage right there. I'm gonna go for my Phoenix, see what he wants to do here. I'm kind of hoping this guy goes for a Sparky in the back. Just like that. Oh my gosh, this guy loses. He loses. That was like a blunder play for sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he shouldn't be able to defend this. I can just go for a Fireball for the Flying Machine. And, uh, yeah, that's basically tower down. I can go for my Evo Zap, and I'm going to go for a Void. Just completely destroy the Sparky. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Like, I... What the heck? Dude, that is so, like, bro... Dude, it just destroys the Sparky and just destroys the Bandit afterwards. I don't even know. Let's go for the next game. Here's the next match, and, um, alright, man, let's see what this guy's got for me. I'll go for a ghost in the back. He's not making a play. Okay, there's a P.E.K.K.A. Alright, I'll definitely just drop my Void on the P.E.K.K.A. right now, just completely damage it like crazy. And, I should be fine. I could just go for a Little Prince in the back. He goes for a Battle Ram, same lane behind the P.E.K.K.A., totally fine here. Oh wow, he's got a Firecracker. I'm going to pop this LP ability plus Phoenix plus Zap. Very, very good defense right there. And see what he wants to do, you know? He goes for E-Wiz in the back. Totally fine here. Totally fine. Um, What else does he do? He goes for a Ghost plus a Zap. I don't think I could punish this for some reason. I'll go for a Ghost. Okay, like, at least he still needs to respond to this ghost and stuff like that. Goes for a bandit, totally fine. Like, I want to RG, but I'm, like, not too sure about how much elixir he's at, so it would be, like, a very risky play. And my hand is a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. So I'll just cycle a void. I don't think I'll get punished for this, so I'm kind of just chilling. Goes for a battle ram in the back. I'll just go for an LP in the back, same lane. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to pop this LP ability right now. Okay, that's a little annoying, not gonna lie to you. It's a good play, but like I said, just a little annoying. Um, maybe I could get King Activation here. Just like drop this Fisherman right here. Perfect. Really good. And yeah, like this guy's playing pretty aggressively. That was a really good defense, not gonna lie to you. I'm actually just gonna go for an RG in the back. This may seem like a really awkward play because I'm playing against P.E.K.K.A. and you typically don't want to like RG in the back versus P.E.K.K.A. I feel like I have a pretty good elixir advantage and I'm just going to try and outcycle his P.E.K.K.A. right now. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and drop a Void. I'm going to go ahead and drop a Fisherman as well. Okay, that's a really good Evo Zap. I'll give him that one for sure. It's a good play. But I'm going to definitely like Evo Zap all this stuff. Oh yeah, dude, that is a perfect Evo Zap. And I think right here I can just... Okay, terrible fireball. I think this guy might just lose now. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Fisherman right here. Okay, he didn't go for a P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go for a Void for the Bandit. Just destroy that. Oh my gosh, just destroy the E-Wiz, because why not? Because Void is absolutely busted. Um, okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Give this deck a try, guys, seriously. I think you guys will really like it, so yeah, take care, guys.